Amen, amen. Thank you, Creative Living Band. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our amazing, wonderful volunteers that step up in service to this ministry and to us. We are blessed. Let's give them all a big hand. Woohoo! So don't panic. We have three weeks till Christmas. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I don't want to have to resuscitate anyone. Breathe. <laughs> so I have faith that all that is necessary will be done with ease and with grace. All right? Amen. Amen. All right? God is good? All the time. All the time. So I have to ask you, how does a sheep greet you for Christmas? Police Navidad. <laughs> what is the best present to get at Christmas? A broken drum. You just can't beat it. <laughs> I need my drummer going, but um bump. <laughs> but it's broken. <laughs> We're talking about faith. And I, and God's calling. So answer, put it on speakerphone. We want to hear what God has to say. <laughs> he probably says, can I get an amen? Amen. amen. <laughs> All right. Um, we're talking about faith today. And I invite you to have faith in what you can achieve. So take Beethoven, for example. He was deaf. And every, he ended up losing his hearing, and he became deaf. And everyone told him that he, you're not going to be a great musician. Just let that idea go. Pick something else. But he didn't listen. But um bum Okay. <laughs> he was deaf, and he didn't listen. Okay. <laughs> I need some help with my Christmas jokes here. <laughs> All right, faith is a deeply personal and spiritual journey, but that doesn't mean we can't find humor in the realm of the divine. I like to have a little something to let us relax and release the stresses of the day and have a little bit of humor and a little bit of laughter. It's good to do that every day, right? Yeah. So happy first Sunday of Advent. Advent, yeah, Advent means the coming or the arrival of the birth of the Christ presence within. And we celebrate the four weeks before Christmas um, with the remembrance of how important faith and peace and love and joy are for our own spiritual growth and unfoldment. So this Sunday, we focus on faith. A lot of times we say hope and faith because kind of hope is the beginning aspirations of building into full faith. So our affirmation, I believe before I see, my faith is strong. Let's say that together. I believe before I see, my faith is strong. So I have a little story for you. It's from long ago. A woman named Louise Redden was a poorly dressed lady with a look of defeat on her face. And she walked into a grocery store and she placed just a few basic items in her cart. You know, milk, bread, flour, sugar, rice and beans. And then she approached the manager, the owner of the store actually. And she approached him in a most humble manner and she asked if he would let her charge these few groceries. Remember when you had store credit, there weren't credit cards? Some of you do. Um, way back when. So she asked, could she please charge these few groceries? And she explained that her husband had been very ill and unable to work and they had seven children and they needed food. The owner of the grocery store just kind of scoffed at her and said, no, sorry, you're going to have to leave. The thought of returning to her family without food just paralyzed Louise. And she stood there and she said, please, sir, I promise you, I will bring you the money as soon as I can. And the owner said, nope, we don't give charge accounts to the unemployed. Sorry, I can't help you. 
Well, standing nearby was a customer who overheard the conversation. And he walked over to the grocer and he said, I will stand good for whatever she needs for her family. And the grocer was like, <sighs> very reluctantly, he said to Louise, do you have a grocery list? And she said, yes, sir. He said, okay, put your grocery list on the scale and I will give you the equivalent in groceries to what your grocery list weighs. Okay, we're going to say a little prayer for the owner. <laughs> So Louise hesitated for a moment, and she bowed her head, and she said a quick little quiet, silent prayer. And then she reached in her purse, and she took out a piece of paper and a pen, and she wrote, scribbled something on the paper, and then she carefully laid it, her head was still down, and she laid it into the scale that was right there. And to the amazement of the customer and the owner, the scale went down, and it stayed down. The grocer, st staring at the scales, couldn't believe it. The customer smiled, and the grocer started putting her groceries on the other side of the scale. But the sale didn't balance. So he kept putting the groceries in more and more until he couldn't fit any more into the, to the basket of the scale. And the grocer stood there in utter dismay. Finally, he snatched the piece of paper from the scales and he looked at it. It wasn't a grocery list. It was a prayer. And it said, Dear Lord, you know my needs. I am leaving this in your hands. Mm. Dear Lord, you know my needs. I am leaving this in your hands. Okay, that's bringing up energy for me. <laughs> um, some of it's mine, I think some of it's yours. Um, I have... Okay, let me just feel this energy coming through me a minute, because that's what you do when it comes up. You don't push it down. After years of counseling, I've learned to just feel it in the moment, and it releases, and the wave comes, and it goes. But it... Um, I have had, uh, oh, thank you, tissue angel. <laughs> I have had um, I've had a heavy burden that I've been carrying personally for two months. And this quote just hit me. I've been praying about it, and then I've been snatching the prayer back and trying to do it on my own and figure it out on my own. And it's just like, I just, dear God, you know my needs. I put this into your hands. I release it and I follow whatever guidance. I let whatever needs to happen, like Louise did, that customer heard, right? And I don't know if you're carrying a burden in your own life or what's going on with you, but we all have those times in life where we're carrying something heavy. And we can remember like Louise did. Dear Lord, you know my needs. I'm leaving this in your hands. And then here's the secret. We need to leave it in God's hands. <laughs> and not take it back, okay? Um, and so... Wait, wait, I'm going to get back to Louise here for a minute. The grocer gave the groceries and handed them to Louise, and he was just in stunned silence after looking at that note. Louise thanked him and the customer and thanked God, and she left. The customer handed the grocer a $20 bill and said it was worth every penny. You know, back then it was, now it's probably be $50 or more, but um, Louise Redden demonstrated courage and strength and the power of prayer and enough faith in God to bring forth that which she desired. You know, I talk about this and it's just so simple. And how often do we forget? It's like, oh, no, 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 God, let me, I, I got it. I, got, I know what to do. 
you know, no, no. And God's like, okay, my child, I'm here ready to support you anytime you want me to, right? Louise Redden demonstrated courage and strength and the power of prayer and enough faith in God to bring forth that which she desired. Only God knows how much a prayer weighs. Hmm. So many of us don't take advantage of the power of God. That power of God that, no. Many of us don't take advantage of the power God has given us. Prayer. Prayer is our ability to pause from the outer circumstances that tell us contrary to what we desire. Those are the circumstances that surround us. And then when we pause, in that pause, we speak to God, our Heavenly Father, with faith and with trust, and our prayers are answered if we allow them to be answered. And sometimes our prayers are answered in different ways than we expect them to be answered, just like Louise. God positioned that customer in earshot at the right time and the right place. The grocer and that customer learned an interesting lesson that day along with Louise. And so did we today because of her courage and her strength. And she modeled, Louise Redden modeled the quote from the Bible in Hebrews chapter 1 regarding the meaning of faith. It reads, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Faith it says, is the assurance or the declaration of what we hope for, what we desire. And it's the conviction, and I like to even call it the evidence of things not seen yet. Okay? Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity, said, Faith is the perceiving power of the mind linked with the power to shape substance. In other words, when we utilize the power of our mind to perceive or see in our mind's eye what we desire and link it with the power to shape substance, and that power is imagination, when we link these two together, it sets in motion the divine substance that is everywhere present. And the creation of what we desire becomes manifest and sometimes in even more profound ways than we could have ever imagined. Never underestimate the power of God and the power of prayer because God has a way of making a way where there didn't seem to be a way before. Prayer. I invite you to utilize our prayer chaplains here at Unity Church for creative living they are steeped in prayer and if you have something heavy on your heart or even if you have something to celebrate utilize our prayer chaplains they will pray with you and you will both be lifted up let's say our affirmation again I believe before I see, my faith is strong. One more time. I believe before I see, my faith is strong. Napoleon Hill said, whatever your mind can conceive and believe, you can achieve. Jesus said, these things I do, you shall do, and greater still. If, if you believe. Thank you. Now, belief is it's, it's like hope. It's kind of the beginning. Um, but it's not like, well, yeah, I think maybe suppose that could happen. You know, that's kind of a non-committal kind of thing, right? Um, the belief that Jesus and Napoleon Hill are speaking of is a deeper faith, a deeper belief, where you know, in the place in you that knows, 
without a doubt that what you desire is coming forth, and I like to say, or something better. Because God always, always outdoes us. God is good. All the time. All the time. Thank you. There's an old story about a terrible drought in a farm country. country. The ch crops had dried up. The livestock were in danger of dying of thirst. In the midst of an impending disaster, the humble minister of the town asked members of his congregation to come together in the town square the next morning at 9 a.m. and they would pray for rain. Word spread and the entire community gathered in the town square that next morning to join in praying for rain. And the minister asked the crowd before praying, I want to know if you believe that God will send us rain. Do you believe? And the crowd said, yes. And he said, I can't hear you. Do you believe? And the crowd yelled, yes. And then they heard it. The pop of an umbrella when you open it. One small child was the only one who came to the prayer meeting with an umbrella. The minister invited the child to come forward to the front of the crowd so all could see the one who truly believed. After months of drought and an act of pure faith, this child brought an umbrella, knowing in full faith that God answers prayers. And a child shall lead them. It's a tender account of a child's faith, and it reminds us all what it means to pray with not only belief, but faith that our prayers will be answered. To approach the Lord with complete confidence that he will satisfy our needs, whether we're praying for relief from a parched earth or hunger and thirst for our soul. What comfort will we find if we, like the child with the umbrella, Approach God prepared to receive all of the blessings he will pour down upon us in our time of need. God is good. All the time. All the time. Thank you. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, Jesus said, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you'll say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. Faith the size of a mustard seed. A mustard seed is pretty, pretty tiny, really small. And Jesus is saying, You don't need a lot of faith. A little dab will do you. <laughs> Just start with what you got, right? We could put that in an affirmation, right? When we're facing whatever mountain might show up in our life. Now, mountains meaning any obstacles or stressors that show up in our life that don't want to move. <laughs> we can say, I have mustard seed faith, and I'm not afraid to use it. Let's say that together. I have mustard seed faith, and I'm not afraid to use it. All right. Thank you. Think about times in your life when you were nervous or anxious or unsure, maybe even scared, but you stepped out in faith, albeit mustard-sized faith, but you did it. And that first step stretched you in new ways and brought you into a whole new way of being, and you expanded your mustard seed faith and each time you did that, you grew in, you grew in your faith. Yeah. I invite you to say yes to opportunities that come your way and step out in faith and see what God has been waiting to bless you with. God is good. All the time. So I have... Um, I have a prayer I'm going to share with you. It's well known in Unity Churches. And I have a copy of this prayer on a bookmark, the prayer of faith. And uh, I'm going to give it to you at the door along with Unity's um, 2023 Advent booklet. So see me at the door for that. Um, the prayer is by Hannah Moore Kohas. And there's an added verse at the end by Reverend Sally Taylor. The prayer of faith. 
God is my help in every need. God does my every hunger feed. God walks beside me, guides my way through every moment of the day. I now am wise, I now am true. Patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am, can do, and be through Christ, the truth that is in me. God is my help, I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing quick. God is my all, I know no fear, since God and love and truth are here. God is my wealth, I can't be poor. God is my true abundant store. His indwelling presence brings to me health, happiness, and prosperity. So let's take that with us as we prepare for meditation. I'm going to invite you to relax right where you are. Allow the chair to support you. Feel your feet on the floor. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes if you'd like. And just be here now. As we join in singing, as I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align. As I center in love, I align with God. I invite you to allow my words to be the words of your own heart and mind as we share this brief time of prayer and meditation together. Gently breathe in, God is. Slowly breathe out, I am. God is, I am. And I say thank you, sweet, sweet spirit, for this day, for this opportunity to be alive in it. Thank you, God, for reminding me that you are always present always willing and available to help and support me in my time of need. God, you know my needs. I place this into your hands. And I release and I let go. And I follow your divine flow for what is the highest and best in each situation. Thank you, God, for when I am in the space of faith, remembering who I am and that I am one with you, God, and that I need not fear To just take a pause from whatever's going on in the outer and go within and connect 
and remember the truth of who I am. And even if I have mustard size seed faith, that's enough. That's enough to move me forward with your help, God. And each time I do that, I learn and I grow and I expand and I evolve. And each time gets a little easier and a little easier. Thank you, God, for your living, loving presence that is always present. I believe before I see my faith is strong. So I invite you to take another gentle breath in. Slowly release it. And go deep within to that sacred place within you where you connect with the divine presence of God. And just listen. Listen for the still, small voice of God to speak just to you in the silence. In the silence. I am as God created me in the love, in the light, in the glory. I have faith and I am growing it stronger and stronger every day. I believe before I see my faith is strong. And I say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. And amen. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love